Iran is stealing, is, is um, destroying that very essential, God-given right of every human being. From the very beginning, we experienced persecution. I remember I was eight years old and we found out that another pastor had been stabbed to, to death. And my father went to pick up his body pieces. Within the same year, many other pastors were killed. At times, they would arrest my father on Sunday, right before the service would start. Even if you do deny your faith, there's still no guarantee that you can walk free. We have had cases, men who deny their faith because um, the government said that they will rape their wives if they don't, and we understand, or, or they take away the, their children. Our pastors, people who we've trained and worked with, my friends, are either today awaiting their trial or serving harsh sentences of 10, 15, 20 years in prison because of their faith. I was arrested. I was detained in only men's detention center without any females present. So they interrogated me, they questioned me, threatened me, and forced me to sign forms and papers, crimes against my father, my mother, and other pastors and leaders. Plain clothed officer raided my family's home during a Christmas celebration. They strip searched everybody. They arrested my father, shaved his head, beat him up. At the time, he was 62 years old. And they put him in a, in a small cell, in a um, solitary confinement for 65 days. It's dirty, it's filled with insects. You can't really slip on the floor without insects crawling into your ears or uh, mouth or nose. He had lungs infection, he had ear infection, he had teeth infection. He was denied of any human interaction for over 10 days. Shortly after my, my brother was arrested during a picnic gathering while making barbecues, along with four other Christians. They were denied of their lawyer's attorney during the entire time they were held in prison. In 2017, my mother was arrested, interrogated for several hours, um, harassed and manipulated. And uh, she's appealing five to 10 years in prison. My father is appealing 10 years imprisonment and my brother is still done. We are just one example of many.